And out they come, the home side to the roar of the crowd. That's brilliant. The Raiders, well, that would fire you up, a reception like that, Joey. They look fired up, running on the field. They're all screaming. This guy here is the key, Jack White. Really aggressive player. He loves the tough stuff. Just watch him tonight when the game's on the line. He wants the ball in his hands. Jack White in the number six jersey for the Raiders. They've had a disruptive start to the season, but Ricky Stewart not using any of that as an excuse. The amount of long-term injuries, Josh Hodgson, Jamal Fogarty, they've had COVID dramas as well, but he wants this team to be firing, as does Todd Payton and the North Queensland Cowboys. So I think all leading towards in a great game tonight to kick off your Easter weekend on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Let the footy begin, round six of the National Rugby League. Cohen Hess, he missed the last couple of weeks with a shoulder injury. He returns tonight for the North Queensland Cowboys. He'll be looking to impress Origin selectors as well. He's been playing some good football in the middle. There's some solid contact. Starling in there on Ruben Cotter. Now Taumalolo, first of many hit-ups for Jason Taumalolo as he reaches the 20. Robson goes on his own, picks up 10 metres. Two tackles left in this opening set for the North Queensland Cowboys. And a second touch for Cohen Hess. Tapanay in there along with Hattery Renaida. Townsend with a kick from inside the 40. It was a good defensive set there from the Raiders. And Nickel Klugstar takes that beyond the 30, almost to the 40, before driven back a couple of metres. Robson leading the way. Tamalolo was there as well. Here's Rapana. Andrew John's mentioning as the Raiders ran out that they looked fired up, and that was a terrific opening set defensively from the home side. Lost Papali E. Good strong charge from him. He looks fit, Josh. He looks lighter than the past couple of years. Tapanay taken high, and this will be an early penalty here for the Raiders. So great opportunity for them here, Cam, to go right on the attack. Yeah, it was a really good start, and as you mentioned, Salty, they they started with a lot of energy in that first set of defense, minimizing the Cowboys to only 34 meters. Chad Townsend actually kicked the ball just outside his 30 meter line. As we see a little replay here. Well, Starling's got him slightly high to love that, Joey. Oh, oh I say. <laughs> here we go for the Raiders. 18 away, Vellamay will play it. Now it's with Sutton. 10 meters away from the line. Starling. Now it's with Schneider. He goes on his own. He's forced back. Halfway through the set here. Elam Lukey was involved in the tackle there as well. Now Jack Whiten drifting, showing it. Starling players in motion. Nickel Klug start. It's a good tackle there from Peter Hiku. Two tackles left in the set. Starling throws a dummy, goes one way, oh, split them. Wow. Too easy for the number nine and first blood for the Raiders. And it's a great start by the Canberra Raiders. We just mentioned that they're very good when they're playing with high energy. And well, Starling, he just, he stood him up on the Harvey Norman replay. Gets out to his left, comes back with his left foot. And you see Tao Malolo and Cohen Hess. Cohen Hess, he slightly got up, he got up in front of Tao Malolo, which created that space for Starling to go through. And any dummy half, they see that space within the 10 metre line. They just say, thank you very much. And that's a, well, that's one of the easier tries that Starling will ever get. The kids at home, the key here was ball in two hands. He had the ball in two hands and Cohen Hess just takes his eyes off Starling and looks to where he thinks Starling is passing the ball. And then little man on big man, just too quick for Tamalala. Great start, the Raiders. Watch the ball in two hands. Cohen Hess's eyes goes off him. Onto Papali. Not a hand laid on it. JT. 
That's what happens when you have don't put the ball carrier on the ground inside your 10. Both markers weren't set. And uh, Tom Starling makes them pay. Great work from the Ra Raiders, number nine. First blood for Canberra. They've won three of their past four games at GIO Stadium. And they've got an early lead here tonight. And that four-point lead about to become a six-point lead with Brad Schneider adding the extras. So first blood here for the Canberra Raiders, Tom Starling. Very simple try. You've got to say it's soft. Was it? Didn't get a hand laid on him. I'm disappointed with that for Coach Todd Payton. Usually when Canberra score early like this, it turns into two or three tries pretty quickly, yeah. Ken. I was just about to say, Salty, the Cowboys need to be careful in this next little period of play. Because if you do give Canberra too much momentum, particularly at home in front of their home fans, they can put a score line on you pretty quickly. Is this, he looks he looks on tonight. He's sharp. Down low is Helen Lukey. Tom Dearden in there as well. They've had no ball. The North Queensland side in the first five minutes, apart from the opening set of the game, is Papali'i with a run. Last tackle, okay, Schneider. That's an ugly one. And they let it bounce. And confusion at the back as well. Look at this chase from the Raiders. All over North Queensland. The opening exchanges there is poor communication between Murray Taolungi and Scott Drinkwater. It's Kyle Felt with a hit up. They're still inside their own 10 here. Taolungi with another run. They take him towards the touchline. They put him into touch, but it was a call of held. Yeah. Very tough situation here. The crowd, like the crowd are right behind their team. There's three players involved in the tackle. You could hear on the order on the mics that the referee had called held, but very difficult for defenders to hear the hell call in this situation. But well, well, he's not held. Well, he's not, no. No. Momentum had never stopped. Stop. I, I, I think what they look at there, Joey, is all of his forward momentum had finished. Because there's one a couple of weeks ago at Penrith. Yeah. Where Penrith marched Latrell over the sideline. It's Hill and Lukey. Three of them in there, including Elliot Whitehead playing his 150th game in the NRL tonight. The Raiders lock forward. Tamalolo tackle there by Papali. E. Starling was there as well. Along with that man we were just talking about, Elliot Whitehead. There he is, the Englishman. Hasn't he been good for the Raiders, Elliot yeah, Whitehead? A bit of X Factor, something a little bit different. It's a set re restart for the Cowboys and good run there from Tom Deard. And this is some good field position for North Queensland. Townsend kicking on the second tackle in the goal area. Valame's got it. Can he get back in the field to play? Did and's got him. Connor's there as well. Well, it's a warning shot to Nickel Clockstar. But if you're going to defend in the line, we don't care if it's tackle one or two. I'll chip over the top. Full back in the defensive line. Clockstar, you can see him there. Put it over the top. And then great chase. By Dearden. That's a good tackle by De Tommy Dearden. A nice play by the Cowboys. And it looked planned too, Joey. Yeah. I think Valentine, you've seen Valentine Holmes. He, had, he pinned the ears back chasing that chip kick. Jack White with the dropout. Goes along the grounds. Here come the Cowboys. They'll enjoy this after being on the back foot in the opening exchanges of this encounter. Elam Lukey put on his back by Hattery Renata. Now Tal Malolo straight and hard from the Cowboys enforcer. Robson the dummy half. 
inside the Raiders 30. Townsend goes to Cohen Hess. He tries to get the legs pumping. He's tackled on the Raiders 20, halfway through the set. Robson, now Townsend, did, and that's a good tackle on Tom Deard and by Snyder. The Raiders halfback with a good shot. Now Townsend, Cotter. It's a workhorse, Ruben Cotter. Tapane in there, one of the Raiders defenders. Here's the last, Townsend. Puts it along the ground, it's a ricochet. Nicola Cookstar's got it though for the Raiders and they didn't really ask too many questions of them there, the Raiders defence, but they handled it well. Well, they did. And that was off a, a great defensive read by Schneider to come out and snuff out any of that attack. Which is though they're planning to go left tonight as there's a, a leaving penalty going to the Raiders. You drop this ball here, Cameron. Jack Whiten and dummy half went to pick the ball up. Lucky they got the penalty there. So it's Jack here. He just fumbles a little bit. He's Matt Tomoko. 22 year olds. Start the season is Matt Tomoko. Talk more about him as we head throughout the night. He's Starling. Now White goes on his own. Good, solid contact there from Reese Robson. White head to dummy half. That pass in front of Sutton. Picked up there by Tarpanay. They go to Papali'i. It might be the last time he does a dummy <laughs> Well, there's an offload. Now it's with Starling. He dummies. Oh. Goes into Tomoko and Kyle Felt jumps up out of the line and makes the tackle on the Raiders' centre. Tapane, two tackles left here for the Raiders. That's a good, strong run. The sort of kick will we see here on the last? Will they look to run it here, the Raiders? It's the last tackle. 12 away from the line. They go down the short side. White and just puts it on the ground. That's a terrific kick up. Uh, it's a low percentage kick down a short side. Really short gaps to get that grubber through the line. Best to go on the other side and put the ball up on Deard in order to the winger. Incredibly tough kick to get it through those short sides. A lot of legs there in a short amount of space. A lot of, of legs, yeah. Defenders are close together. Valentine Holmes. The Cowboys still inside their own half. Oh, what about dummy that? Dummy half run. <laughs> Come on, Coming out of dummy half, Jason Salmalolo. Townsend on the last for North Queensland. That's a terrific take from Nick Potrick. And taken in the air to be a Raiders penalty here. Great take, all the same. Yeah, he took that under pressure with a good kick from Townsend. And well, there's just no eyes for the football, and that's a that's a penalty every day of the week. Jeremiah Nanai, that was. Matt Tomoko with another run. He's 22 years of age, Matt Tomoko, from uh, Auckland, uh, and was picked up by the late Peter Mulholland. To go to the Raiders, made his debut a couple of years ago. He is so strong. Doing well. it this year. They're the nightmare guys to tackle. Offload, Papaliti. Short, stocky brace with footwork. So hard to tackle. Another penalty to Canberra. Dangerous, dangerous throw. Penalty. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The legs, the legs went above the horizontal, but that's really good. If you're going low Ended. on Tom Starling, you're going low. Aren't you? <laughs> Your boot lace is not the tallest player. <laughs> it's been an unhappy few minutes for Jeremiah Nanai. Is Ryan Sutton? 19 metres away. 
Canberra looking for their second try of the night. Papali E. Three of them wrap him up. Starling. Have to look out for him. Now it opens up for Sutton. And Ryan Sutton's tackled a couple of metres away from the line. The Raiders halfway through the set here. Starling, Snyder, quick hands away. Oh, what about the pickup from Rappina? And he sets sail for the corner. And it's all Canberra early on this Thursday night. And what a great try. Great hands by Rappina. Showing his experience. Just sitting back slightly. Harvey Norman replay. Well, they had a great, great hit up to start this play. And what about the hands from there from Hadawira and Naira? And well, this man, we've seen him so many times finishing the corner the way he did. But it's a great start by the Raiders. Hadawira and Naira, great tip on. But Murray Tuolangi rearranges his ribs here the tackle outside in but the hands from Rapina that, that was sensational but he read it well Murray Tuolangi there was just a beautiful tip on just watch the winger come in how do we are Naira gets the ball and then his arms are up so he gets the shoulders right in the stomach and that hurts and that that space created on that right edge for the Raiders was it was the damage was done by Ryan Sutton with that nice run in behind the ruck, wasn't it, Joey? Chewed up a few numbers in the middle, which created the space on the outside. Looking good, Canberra. Looking slick. JT. Jonathan. Oh, you haven't frozen. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> it's I think he so is. Frostbite. It's that cold. It's frozen the uh, <laughs> mic. <laughs> but it was a great line that run was by Valame that held Valentine Holmes up, and that created that two on one on the edge. So a great line by that young centre. Yeah, you could hear the teeth chattering there, JT. Just yeah. couldn't hear the words coming out. Eventually got there. Snyder from the sideline to make it a two converted try lead. Study of concentration. Back down and then he moves in strikes and I'll tell you what, it's a great kick. Start for the Raiders. Cowboys on the back foot. Canberra leading by 12 points to nil, and now Papali'i into four of the Cowboys. We go to Jonathan Thurston. Brad Schneider, halfback for the Raiders, came through the Cowboys system. JT. Yeah, he did, Joey. Yeah, a great young talent. As we can see, he came up with a really good defensive read earlier on in the game and really took out Tom Deard and, and that sets up the rest of your game if you're strong defensively and you've seen him take down that short side play down there as well to set up that second try so he's a great talent. He's making the most of the opportunity that he's got this season because don't forget Jamal Fogarty was set to wear the number seven jersey before he was ruled out for the year with injury. Ricky Stewart said he's still another 10 weeks away. Half, half of the year, considering they lost Fogarty and they've lost Josh Hodson, they're going well, the Raiders. Kyle Felt met by three of the Raiders defenders. Tapanay was one of them. The urgency, Canberra's defence. Their hard yards at the moment for North Queensland. Tom Gilbert, some fresh legs on the fields. In jersey number 11, but starting from the bench. And there's a couple of good hit-ups to end the set. Cohen Hess coming from the fields. Kick will come from just short of the halfway line from Townsend. 
Taken there by Kotrick. Yeah, as you mentioned, Salty has a couple of good carries to finish that set for the Cowboys, but I just feel that they're going to have to throw a little bit more than that at the Raiders. They're up for this one, the Raiders. We've seen with their defensive efforts so far and the energy that they have. One out runners, they'll, they'll, they'll eat that up all night. Rapana. One of the Canberra's try scorers. Two tries in the opening 17 minutes for the Green Machine. Papali'i. That footwork for such a big man, he always gets half through that line. Amazing how big he is in the footwork. Similar to Tarpany. That footwork just gets him away from those first defenders, the discipline of the Cowboys. This is where teams just love to attack their set starts. This is what they work on all offices from their taps and dropouts. Fall into their formations. They're going to challenge this. Was that more okay, than go, 10 a seconds? challenge against um, the Cowboys, challenging the decision that the board's been knocked out by um, Ruben Connor. The ref needs an interpreter. Elliot Whitey. Oh, the accent. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Well, there's a hand there. Oh, no. Well, there goes the there goes the challenge. Gone. And need one look at that one. And that was uh, the final tackle. That was the last. Raiders were set to kick, and just as Joey mentioned, all discipline. Well, we've got Joey here after we spent time in Warrington, so you're able to be our interpreter for Elliot White there, Joey. Yeah. I speak to some of the people in Cessna. <laughs> Hello, Mum and Dad. <laughs> Sutton now. Five metres away from the line. It's all Canberra. They've already got two tries. Now they're looking for a third. Hattery Renaida running onto that one, but there's some good defence. Gilbert and Drinkwater. Starling. Now it's with Schneider. Spins away from one, can't get away from another. Jeremiah Nanai missed Schneider there. 12 metres away, here's Jack Whiten. Now it's with Matt Tomoko. He is strong. Got away from Peter Hiku there. Chad Townsend made the tackle. Here's the last. Whiten gets a pass away. It's with Schneider. They've got a big opening out here. Valamate just can't get to that one. The kick goes into touch. Well, there's a bit of razzle-dazzle by the Raiders there on the last. Jackie Whiten, he was, the, he was the man that started it. He just took off across the field, attracted a few defenders, got the ball. Well, as a Hail Mary, really. He got to Schneider, and if he was able to execute this kick, well, Valamay, he had a lot of space, and he, and he may have got a four-pointer, but it was just out of reach. Bell Holmes. Oh, much needed penalty here for the North Queensland Cowboys. They are under the pump. Yeah, and that missed kick by Schneider. And the penalty now to the Cowboys. It's their first of the night. That'll turn all the momentum. Here it is. In these big, playing these games, you cannot miss those opportunities. You'd be disappointed with that, Schneider. Sort of kick your practice hours and hours. But all that momentum now is about to shift. Cowboys now. Get a set start. Gilbert. Good young forward, Tom Gilbert. Couple of years now in the NRL. Townsend is caught up. Oh, what about that? Running into a brick wall. Well, Josh Papali'i. Snyder did well as well. Now Dearden. It's a set restart here for the Cowboys. So some sustained pressure from a team that's been under the pump for most of this half. Townsend sees an opportunity down a short side. Not much room there for Valentine Holmes. Schneider making the tackle. Tamalolo. 
Nice offload, Dearden. Now Lukey. Good defence there from Valame. O'Neill and Lukey. Now Tamalolo. Townsend. Drinkwater throws a dummy, goes through, gets a great ball. Sensational pass to Kyle Fell. Now this will be a no try. All right, Grant. We're coming up to tackle four. One of, the, no one of the decoy runners. Confirm that there's an obstruction on the outside shoulder. Here we go, outside shoulder, inside shoulder. Oh, no. Tam Malolo. Uh, Beautiful Joey, play. Joey, Just Joey, watch. Joey. Yeah, that'll be no try. And then I... Pretty much runs straight Just looking into... to determine if there's any obstruction in the lead-up. Jeremiah Nana makes Wilson contact see with that. Jack Whiten. This impacts the defensive line of the Canberra Raiders. We have a decision. And he took advantage yep. of that gap. Scott Drinkwater, that's an out and out obstruction. Because that position Jack Whiten would have, would have come across and, and tackled Scott Drinkwater, so that's the correct decision. Here's another look at it. I think Chad Townsend was actually arguing there that it wasn't exactly on that outside shoulder of Jack White and hitting more square, but nonetheless, he, he did take him out of the defensive line, so that's play on. This is a good play, man. I got impressed with him, Kevin. Very good. Very good. And he was out, like, not long. He was, he was outstanding against the Broncos two weeks ago, Soldy. Yeah. Three tries, didn't he? Three oh, tries. Yeah. yeah. Still only a young man, 19 years of age. Just a, a brilliant young talent. He's had a rear night up. We've seen some good young players emerge this year. And those that we saw a glimpses of last year, just taking extra steps forward in their game and we're going to see one tonight in Xavier Savage coming off the bench for the Raiders. Considering well. some of these young players have hardly played because of COVID. Makes his, his explosion on the NRL even more <laughs> sensational. Whiten with a kick into the in goal area. That is a great kick and all Cole Felt can do is bat it over the, the dead ball line. It's a repeat set coming up now for Canberra. Just turning the screws. The Raiders, Jack Whiten, once again, saw the fullback in the defensive line and just puts it over the top into space. Beautiful play. Just building and sustaining that pressure. He's got drink water, you see there. He was at marker. And the key there, he went over the top. Didn't try to grab it through where teams like to stick their legs out. Just gets it straight over the top. Here's the dropout. Corey Horsburgh off the bench. It's his second hit up. The Raiders on the Cowboys 30. Starling, now Papaliki. Still going forward, even under the attention of those Cowboys defenders. Now Starling. Horsburgh. Bit of footwork from Corey Horsburgh. Paul Vorton will enjoy seeing that in the lounge chair at home. Nine away from the line. Snyder, Nickel Klukstar, they're lining up. Good tackle, Valentine Holmes on Hatterira Nida. Now Rappena to Snyder. Two tackles left in the set. Sutton goes to Papali'i. Again, he goes forward with defenders on him. Cotter and Gilbert. Eight away from the line. Whiten, rubber kick for Elliot Whitehead in game 150. Has he got it down? Elliot Whitehead, we're going to check it. This might be a clean miss here. Or he may have just got a slight touch on it. He doesn't look confident. He's walking back away from the try line. As we see Jack Whitney, he, he got this one through this time. It was a great kick. Wow. 
Tough Elliot chance. Whitehead knocks the ball on. We have a decision. Tough chance there for Whitehead. If he scores that, that puts him in a very good position. Just Jack White then. Caught the ball in traffic and somehow manufactured a kick and got it through. That was some skill off Jack, Jack White and JT. I just want to give Josh Papaletti a wrap. 112 metres of 11 carries already to start this game. He's really laying the platform for the Raiders to start this game, so good work from the big man. There he is. Do you think he looks lighter, Kevin? Well, he looks fit, doesn't he? He looks fit, too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, might be the ponytail. He's from your hometown, is he? From he is. Logan, yeah. Yeah, he's a Logan boy. Um, actually, uh, had the pleasure of watching Josh play most part of his junior football. He, he played alongside my younger brother, Matthew, at Logan Brothers. He was some sort of a, a player as a young man, too. Tamalolo again from Dummy Hill. Second time tonight, he's just picked it up and, and gone. 20 metres away here, the Cowboys. Dearden, now Valentine Holmes. It's a pass away. Now that's knocked down off a radar, back to Holmes. And the set will restart for the Cowboys. Well, that's a stroke of good luck for them. Can they capitalise? Jordan McLean, five metres away from the line. Whitehead, one of the defenders. Now Robson goes to Townsend. Here's Dean and short ball, Lukey. Good tackle and he's lost it. Valamay really, Schneider. Really good defence. Schneider, Valamay. They didn't panic, especially Valamay. He just holds his line. He's Valentine Holmes coming across the field. Looked for a pass. Jack White and read the pass. Couldn't take it. And then when they go wide, Valamay and Schneider working together. Would have been easy for Valamai to get up past the ball. He worrying about players coming out the back, but he held his nerve with that straight line. Bang. Great defence. And um, Tom, you ran in as well, but because it's... Um so, penalty here for the Raiders. What was this for? Uh, I think it may have been for failing to have the, the scrum packed, Joey, the before the shot clock. What a kick. I think that's 50 metres, Jack White. The last touch finder from the penalty, too, was pretty similar. Now, Valame, it's the Raiders who are on the back foot about 30 seconds or so ago, can mount an attack of their own here. Horsbra. Good tackle down low on Horsbury. It was Nanai. Now Sutton goes to White and plays in motion. Nickel Cook start. Townsend and Hiku in there making the tackle. Tomoko will go to dummy half for Canberra. He'll go on his own. He was searching for a penalty. He lost it. Lost the ball in the tackle, did Matt Tomoko. So there's a let off there for the Cowboys. Canberra leading by 12 points to nil. Here's the error from Matt Tomoko. Loose carry there as Peter Hiku came in to make contact. He's got drink water to feed the scrum. Wait for the break call. Wait, wait, wait. Wait full back. He's got drink water in place of... The injured homicide Tabuai Fido. It's another penalty. It's ten penalties already. The game really is struggling to find any rhythm. Very stop start. Was, what was that for? Was that for high contact? And just moves! Here, Corey Strait! Most of those penalties going to Raiders' way. His disbelief in the commentary box. Here's Jordan McLean. Set restart here as well too for 
North Queensland, Townsend. Now Tamalolo. Whitehead, Hallsborough over the top. Papaliki down low on Jason Tamalolo. The three set restarts the Cowboys. Here's Townsend. Drifting, passing, Dearden. Great tackle, Jordan Ruffina. Coming in on Tom Dearden. Now Jordan McLean. Sutton down low. Starling and Hallsborough over the top. Townsend. And that creates something in North Queensland. Hiku juggles. Probably should have given it to Kyle Feldy. He threw the dummy and the Raiders throw him into touch. They're looking to move the ball wide off slow play the balls. This is a real skill that's gone out of the game for a half 5 8. He's moving the ball laterally off a slow play the ball. This was something that was taught to halfbacks probably the first thing when they came into first grade 20, 30 years ago. If it's slow, you don't move the ball sideways because defence is set and they're coming up, putting pressure on you. There, Canberra just stood there and watched. Let him move it sideways. He just ran him out of room, threw him over the sideline. They're really struggling to get forward here, the Cowboys. Can't get any dominance at the ruck. Canberra's just smothering him. Saw Josh Bubbley coming from the field, 122 metres from uh, 12 hit-ups. Good, good start to the game, Josh Bubbley. It's fairly impressive. 122 metres in your first stint. He's tapping eight. Starling, easy metres. Now Snyder, Jack Whiten puts that one high into the ACT night sky. Drinkwater takes it well. Whitehead and Sutton take him. And Kyle Felt. I'd say if you're Todd Payton with nine minutes to go now in this first half, if they're able to go into the sheds with Canberra only at 12, I'd say you'd be pretty happy. Yeah. With how much ball they've had, how much field position. They've never been perfect with the ball, Canberra. 13 completed from 14. And on the back of getting seven penalties. That would equate to three, four tries. Last play. Drink water. Created some room for himself. Got a kick away. Nickel Klukstad. It just rebounds everywhere here. And it's a penalty Canberra. You've touched him first. This is take two. You've touched him first. Jeremiah Nanai. He's gone down again to spook Klukstad. He's not looking at the ball. <laughs> and he's not even looking at the ball. And it hits him in the melon as a falcon. Is it a double falcon? One, two. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> But is that a penalty? Is there any kind? I couldn't see any contact. I think the ball when it hit Nickel Klukstar. He went backwards because the ball hit him in the face. That's a <laughs> Corey Horsburgh for the Raiders. It's an offload away. Flat pass. Time there's no offload. Been busy since coming off the bench. Now Tapanay. His second stint at a rest after about 20 minutes. Now Starling. Just quick out of dummy half. So dangerous. Whiten. Here's a test. Good take there from Scott Drinkwater. Hang on, he hasn't been able to get to the ground. Oh, and the whistle's blowing here. Forward it's pass. Gone forward, yeah. Forward pass. Scott Drinkwater. He thought he was going to get bundled over the sideline, so he tried to offload the football to a teammate, and it's travelled forward. You see here, he's picked up by the Raiders players. He's tried to give that ball to. Chad Townsend. Yeah, it's all sorts of 
Awful things happening there for the Cowboys. He went forward into the back of a Raiders player and then went backwards into the arms of Townsend. So, in, in, a knock on. And now, the Raiders. What a great attacking platform it is for them here. Schneider loops a pass. Rapinart, how long he's got him. Tricky situation there for Murray Taolungi. Schneider. Here's Emre Gula. One of these good young Raiders forwards. They cut out Horsburg. Go to Schneider. Now White and loops a pass to Nick Potrick. He'll do well to stay in the field of play. He does. It's a good take. And play it eventually. Now Whiten. It's up and eight. Two tackles left in the set. Eventually put him on his back. Now it's Starling, Horsburgh, Schneider. Went on his own. He's tackled. Now they go down a short side. Nickel Cookstar intercept Talungi. And the Cowboys are let off for them. Yeah, let off. Even the play before, when Schneider went to the line, if he just looked to his right. Corey early. Corey Horsburgh, he's ruled to left early. Another penalty to the Cowboys. But if we go to that play before Schneider, he just had a tip on Harawira Har Naira. was just off his right hip. He's going through a gaping hole. And that was the... The set start in the scrum. Tao Lungi, he can take an intercept, can't he? Reads it well. They're going to try to get forward here, the Cowboys. They're under fatigue, they've been on the back foot. You've got to play off Town Alola. Don't use him up in the early tackles. Here he goes here. Use him up later and then play off the back of him. Not like that. Right. Imre Gula has it for the Raiders after he threw it back and it bounced kindly there for Canberra. Now they've put it down and Tamalolo's got it. Is he the hardest you've ever had to tackle, Tamalolo? One of. Just because he's got so many, so much arsenal in the bag. Like he's got the step, he's, he's obviously got the size and the power, but he can step, he can pass, he can offload. So many things to think about when he's running at you. At a 122 kilos. <laughs> he's Jordan McLean. Big chance here for North Queensland. They're going to put it through the hands. With drink water, goes to Nanai. Good tackle. Jack White down low. Does very well. Peter Hiku goes to dummy half. Tamalolo off a standing start. Five metres away from the line. Under four minutes left before half-time. Townsend, oh, no, they put it down again, North Queensland. Well, they've had some chances. Well, they've had some chances. They've spent some time down this end of the field, but they just can't get their set plays. They can't get everyone on the same page. That time, Jordan McLean, well, he wasn't really running onto the football. And Chad, Chad Townsend, he, he still passed the ball to him. Yeah. In that position, you just got to dummy and go yourself. That was a good old-fashioned hospital pass, that one. Now, Telstra is proud to be the naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 21 consecutive years. Tapano playing it in the centre of GIO Stadium. Here's Whiten. His kicking game's been first class tonight, and that is another beauty from Jack Whiten. Yeah, pretty smart kick that from Jack Whiten. Just a little settler. Now, I know the Cowboys, with the different rules in the game, they get to take the ball to the centre of the field with the play of the ball, but it still it just gives, it allows his team a chance to get a set line. Start putting pressure on the Cowboys again. 
Tao Lungi gets up over the 20. He's been one of the better players for North Queensland, Murray Tao Lungi, in this half. Valentine Holmes gets an offload away. That's good. Here's Robson. Ten short of halfway. Dearden goes to dummy half. Townsend. Now it's with Nanai. Goes to Dearden. And get a few offloads away. Helam Lukey. Well, that's an important tackle down low from Valamay. Not the first time the night he's had some good defensive reads. Here's Robson. There's a good run. He'll kick from outside to 30. It's the last. Drink water. Hoists it high. Rappiner takes it well. And Rappiner gets through. Goes to Snyder. How did they get out of that? And Snyder will stay in the field of play. Well, it looked like they had him corralled there, Joey. And he There's got through. Three or four defenders there. He just pinballed out of it. Kotrick now. They've got to hold on here, the Cowboys. They're exhausted. They need half time. Look at this. Taolangi. Two, Holmes. three. Good work for Jordan Rappiner. Here's Cookstar. Goes to Horsburgh. 40 seconds left in the half. Do they think about one point to make it a 13-point lead, perhaps? I would for sure. Jack Whiten. Well, they'll put it down. I don't have to worry about that now. It's an underused option from a lot of teams, leading by six or 12 going into half time. I can just hear him now, Phil Gould at home, just shaking his He hated, hated the first half field goal. Remember when Origin were playing, we're up by about 14. I kicked one right on the bell. I came in at half time. And he was just death still. Did you not a go? Did you do it just to annoy you? Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Half time at GIO Stadium. And despite being on the back foot for most of the half, the Cowboys are still in the contest, only trailing by the two converted tries. At the break, it's the home side, the Canberra Raiders, leading North Queensland by 12 points to nil. It's the Raiders leading by 12 points to nil. Big on, the, big on the Lego when you're a kid, Salty. Still in. Lego Masters, it's great. How do we get on that show? Brickman? You follow Brickman? Yeah, he's a genius. How do they build that stuff? Oh, I don't know. The mind boggles. There's Jason Tomalolo. Starling, he got things going earlier tonight. First try of the game. Very early on. That's the Cowboys trailing by 12. Second half underway on a cool night in the nation's capital. It is Canberra. If you saw Jonathan Thurston during the halftime break, you'd think we are in Antarctica, but it, it is Canberra. I think JT's just got to harden up a little bit salty. Here's Corey Horsburgh. Forced back by the Cowboys defence. Jeremiah Nanai and Tom Gilbert. And the fullback, Chance Nickel Cook star coming in for a run. Enjoying a recent good home record at the Raiders. They've won three of the last four at GIO Stadium. And throughout last year and this year when they've led at the break 12 times as the kick Goes downfield, they've had a 50% record. Six wins, six losses. North Queensland, they've trailed, what about this? They've trailed 28, 21 times last year and this year at half time for just three wins and 18 losses. So they've got to do something this half that they haven't done a lot of in the last 12 months or so, and that's mount a second half comeback. They did beat. Canberra earlier on this season. Here's Robson at dummy half. Jordan McLean on the run into Raiders territory. He goes. He's getting dominated at the ruck. Working really hard, the Raiders. 
on their wrestle. Leaders in, in, all on top, controlling the tackle. Here's the last. Drink water puts it high. Kotrick beats one. Can't get away from Holmes and Lukey in there, leading the chase for North Queensland. Jordan Rappina, another one of Canberra's try scorers. Tomoko, tackle from Gilbert and Robson. Here's Corey Horsburgh. Is it back to Matt Tomoko? He gets another offload. Nine short of halfway here, the Raiders. Gula goes to White. Nickel Klugstar. Now to Moko. Bit of Hiku makes the tackle. Had a bit of help there too from Chad Townsend. Here's the last. Whiten. Puts it downfield. Drinkwater gets up over the 20. And we'll get a penalty here for North Queensland. There's a flop from Horsburgh. He's got down there a little bit late. He couldn't help himself. So Horsburgh comes in and just adds a bit of weight there. Not needed. This will help the Cowboys. Just need some men around their big men when they're, they're going forward. 2-1 out. Big men go to line one out. It's just so easy from the gang tackle and just control that ruck. Got to get some change of angles or some, some quarter around their big men. That way they get some quick play the balls. At the moment they're just getting dominated. The town below the five, six second play the ball. Is Gilbert? Perhaps the answer that might be Jake Granville coming onto the field. Had a bit of spark in and around the ruck area. Here's Jordan McLean now. That's a good charge. And we get a penalty here for North Queensland. Yeah, Tom Starling. Just have a check for Charlie. Hey, that's a Just, grapple, okay? You're working that neck there. Yeah, he's he's been done for a grapple. Just the arm slipped up around McLean's head and neck area when he's finishing off the tackle. There it is there. And I'll tell you what the Cowboys need in their attack. They need a little bit of variation. They've had very little variation. It's just been all one out, sending their big man into the defence. They need Robson out, like he is now. Some short passes in the line, followed up by a half getting their hands on the ball with numbers around them. Tamalolo stands in the tackle. In North Queensland, be first to score in the half. They'll go close here. They'll go more than close. They'll score a try here, North Queensland, through Helam Lukey. Oh, he's a player, this young man. They got forward Tamalolo, and then they have bodies in motion. Harvey Norman replay with Chad Townsend floating around at the back, which gets Lukey one on one with Schneider. Better play there by the Cowboys. Helam Lukey from Cairns. Good young player, Joey. You got some young players coming through their system there. The last sort of 18 months, two years, this young fella is a really good player. Physically, got a great build. Tall, athletic. And have a look at the strength here to get through. So some players have just got it. He's got it, this young man. We talked about that movement off the football or around the, the ball player. Two consecutive tackles there. We've seen... Reese Robson get out a dummy half, attract some markers, A defenders tipping his big man onto the ball. And that time there, Helen Lukey, he was given it a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Val Holmes to make it just a one-try lead for 
Canberra, and he's successful. Twelve points to six. The Raiders leading the Cowboys. And Ricky Stewart will be concerned here because they had most of the play in the first half. Winning the penalty count, there is Ricky. Poor discipline. The two cheap penalties away. Just invited the Cowboys down their end. Outside the 20. Dearden. Goes here to Val Holmes, slips a pass, good hands. Murray Taolungi still going. Almost got away from Rapina. Horsburgh comes in to wrap him up. Now Tel Malolo getting that ball at pace. Now they're rolling. Yes. Now they're rolling. Into Canberra territory. Tom Gilbert. This will be the last. Robson goes here to Dearden, who puts it high. Drink water coming out after it, but it's a simple take in the end there for Rappina. Well, there's no real signs to it. Previous to that set, the Cowboys were just going one out, trying to get off their own as we see some very good defence by the Cowboys. A three-man tackle led by Reese Robson. They were going one out. And they're making what 30 34 meters in a set that's it there tom dearden gets his hand on the football on tackles three plays to bell holmes he makes a little dent another wide pass to town Lolo, and all of a sudden they're making up around 60 meters and you see a bit more of that from the cowboys nickel cook star now all of a sudden canberra have got a kick from inside their own 40. schneider Taken on the full outside the 20 by Drinkwater. Yeah, Maybe Scott Drinkwater, he's only in the, the team because of the injury to the Hammer. Hammer so Tapuai Fido. There's a late offload. Robson, room to move. In with support, did into Holmes. He goes Valentine Holmes. North Queensland are alive now. Drink water, Townsend, Nanai. They're a different football team. Two tackles left in this set. We could be level very soon. Dearden, Townsend, uh, Holmes rather. Back on the inside to see where Chad Townsend is. But he's not going to get the ball here. Dearden puts a kick in. They fly high. It's battered dead. And the Cowboys will get a repeat set of six. Yeah, and that was, well, it was Hiku and Jeremiah Nanai that flew for that ball. Only a couple of weeks ago, Nanai picked up a double. Well, it was Peter Hiku. But it's a, it's a completely different looking. Cowboy side now after that first try. Moving the ball, an offload. Jack White with a dropout. Taken here by Tom Dearden. North Queensland with some sustained pressure on Canberra. Jordan McLean tackled there by Gula. Tapanay and Horsburgh there as well. Robson. The set restart here for the Cowboys. Momentum certainly has swung towards the away side. Townsend, Dearden, Holmes. Now Holmes almost slipped through, got a pass away. Back to Robson. The offloads are coming. The gaps are coming in Canberra's defence as well. Here's Gilbert. 
Well, oh, there's a strip one on one. They dropped off a one on one steal. That is sensational work. Yeah, smart play by the fullback. Valentine Holmes, when they get him coming back towards the middle, changing that angle, Jizzy looks dangerous. And, that, and that's a that's a set play there. You see Emre Gula is in there, along with Huddleweer and Ira, and they just drop off the tackle to allow Klukstad a one-on-one. -on -one. Jordan Rappin are a bit slow to get to his feet there. Corey Horsburgh. Robson and Townsend, two of the defenders there for North Queensland. Top and eight. Here's Snyder, kicking from inside his 40 again. Drink water. Good chase from the Raiders and some good defense. They pick him up. And drive him back, Jack White and Tom Starling. Now Tao Lungi. Well, it's a big game. Both teams with two wins and three losses to open up the season. Chance to square the ledger for one of these teams tonight. The ball comes free. Peter Hiku putting it down. Gula playing it for the Raiders. Here's Snyder. Valame. Really good defensively in the first half. He's driven back here. There's Todd Payton. North Queensland coach. Snyder. Tackled on the halfway line. Owen Hess, one of the defenders. Corey Horsburgh. Thought about a little risky offload there. Here's Jack Whiten. Snyder goes short. Whitehead playing it. Gula. Now Snyder. So comes to the tackle. Here's the last. 25 metres away, chance for an attacking kick here from Jack Whiten. Puts it into the corner. Taken there by Kotrick. The always dangerous second kick, but Tom Dearden is there to clean it up for North Queensland. They're going to put him back in the goal area here. That's great defence from the green machine. Well, I was going to say it was a great effort by Tom Dearden to get back. All good halfbacks, they're back there. Helping clean up those little dink kicks in behind the line. But after that, there was there was no urgency for his teammates to get back and help him. As you see there, one, two, three, four Canberra players there driving him back into the end goal. It's a quick dropout by the Cowboys too. Here comes Sutton on the charge. Tackle there by Cotter and Hess. Tapanay. He stands in the tackle. He'll play it 30 metres away from the line. Nickel Cookstar. No openings there for the Raiders fullback. Set restart. Corey Horsburgh. They need to defend well here, the North Queensland Cowboys. 15 gone in the second half. Snyder, Whiten, they're lining up here. Whiteheads. Thought about an offload as well. They wrapped up the ball. Chad Townsend doing well there. Rappina, Whiten. Shaped the kick there for Nickel Klukstar. Took the line on himself and was wrapped up by Robson. Now Starling. Here's Sutton. Two metres away, two tackles left in the set. Canberra knocking on the door for their third try of the night. Tarpanay short to Snyder, he'll get over! But has he been able to get the ball down? It looks as though they've held him up. Good defence in the end. Frank Snyder's got the ball. I have Chad no Townsend's there. Confirm that he is held up. Really tough. 
tough line he ran then Schneider. Tarpity with his footwork just bounces out, attracts the outside defender, then Schneider runs a really tough line. Just looking to see if Brad Schneider grounds the ball. At this stage it is up. And he doesn't get it down. Brad Schneider is dancing. held up, we have a decision. No try confirmed, and they'll have one more play here, the Raiders. I guess it's the last tackle. Use the foot, Brad. It's close here for Snyder. Come on. Here's the last. Jack Whiten dribbles it, and then goal here at knock on. It was a tough one there for Scott Drinkwater. His short kicking game's been really good tonight, Jack White. His touch on the ball. It's in his long kicking game, but some of his short kicks. It's a beautiful touch there. The way he kicked it off the instep there. Put the ball into space. It was smart. He, he actually created the space for himself, Joey, where he'd come off his right foot and made Jeremiah Nanai just shift out to his right and then created that space to kick straight then towards the end goal. Here's Canberra through Snyder. Goes to Fellamay, puts it down. Yeah, but not switch off here, the Raiders, because Helam Lukey's got it. Oh. What a run, Helam Lukey. Hatterira Nida strips him of oh. the ball, but well, the be a penalty, is it? There's an argument to say that Helam Lukey has taken his advantage. Well, no, yeah, they'll come back for the advantage. Well, he ran 20 metres, Joe. He ran further. He put... He gets this ball on his in goal. And then look at the size of this. And he runs 25 metres. I thought there was a rule that if you ran 10, 10. metres, that was your, yeah. your advantage. I, I think I think that may have been uh, slightly altered as far as the uh, officiating is concerned, where they allow the play to play on. And if... Helam Lukey is to maintain possession there. Well, it's play on. But if there's a result of a negative play or, or an error, as there was, they just they bring it up. And it's to encourage teams to play a bit of footy off. Uh, yeah, encourage to play a, a bit of enterprising football off an, off an error. I think they have that in the Super League, you know? Call it a free play. Yes. Jason Salmalolo back on the field after a rest. It's Helam Lukey. That's some speed for a big man. Ruben Potter goes to Jason Salmalolo, says to Brad Snyder, get out of my way. Like swatting a fly. <laughs> Potter. With, I was just about to say, with Salmalolo back on the field, you're going to see that man return serve. Papali'i. Chance has knocked that one back. The Cowboys chase. We haven't seen Xavier Savage yet. Young man. Jersey 14 for the Raiders. Lightning quick. He's a player Brad Fittler's been calling out for all year to be given an opportunity. How does he fit into the, the 13 though? Does, does Clark start come, it's straight swap, Joey? I don't know how Ricky brings him on the field. There he is there. Killed it in the trial match. Scored a couple of tries. Lightning quick. Yeah, I'd I don't know how he brings him into play. Whether he puts Kutstar maybe to, to lock. He's got drink water. And watch out for this young man when he gets on the field. Xavier Savage, he is lightning. Oh. Oh. Schoolboy's going on that gold coast. And his, his wheels are just unbelievable. Head and shoulders above everyone. Off a standing start as well. He just hit top gear pretty quick. Talungi. Tamalolo. Now here's Robson, a dummy half. Goes to Hess. Dearden. Lukey. Snyder does well down low. Had a rear Corey Hawes over the top. 
Here's the last. Townsend. Puts it high. Oh, Felt kicks it back infield. Could have gone anywhere there. Nickel Klukstar's put it down. And well, this should be a penalty. North Queensland, shouldn't it? Player in an offside position getting on the ball. They'll get the scrum feed anyway, Cam. Yeah, it'll be Cowboys ball in wonderful position. As we see here, Chad Townsend put up this high kick that went over to Kyle Felt. Kyle Felt's playing a little bit of soccer here with the right boot. And the ruling is just knock on. Cowboys scrum feed. Minding guys, stay in. Quarter Wait of the, the game remaining. GIO Stadium, Canberra for your Thursday night footy. Set play here from the Cowboys as Peter Hiku tackled a few metres away from the line. Felt. Drink water. Hess. Owen Hess. Tackle 10 metres away. Only tackle two. Townsend goes to Telmalolo on the charge. Telmalolo will get over, but he won't be able to get the ball down. Okay, tackle three. Jason, Naira there. Great tackle. Leave, leave him, tackle the ball. Him. Tackle him up around the ball and just held him and waited for his teammates to come and help. That was a big, big tackle. Still a few tackles left here for North Queensland. Townsend, now Cotter. Robson the dummy half. Townsend. Drink water. Nice little pass there to Peter Hiku. Now Valhome straight through. Wow. Valentine Holmes. Great movement. Well, he has looked likely, the most likely for the Cowboys and all the fans. They're happy. They're rugged up, but they're happy. If we can get the high shot here on the Harvey Norman replay, where does Valentine Holmes come from? When the ball comes back here towards the left-hand side, it, it looks like the ball's just floating in the mid-air. And, well, Val had his hand up there, and there's a big space between Hadawira Naira and Corey Horsburgh. Valentine Holmes looking to convert his own try. I like that when centers just don't stay in their own lanes. They go looking for the ball. And Tom Trebojevic in origin, he just float around. It takes a really smart player to know where to put himself. Valentine Holmes there. As soon as that offload, he put his hand up and put himself in a position to get that ball. That is just pure instinct. Valentine Holmes to add the extras, and we're all locked up. up 12 points all 17 minutes remaining I haven't seen that earlier either or Jake Granville or Connolly Lemuelu so yeah. both they only use the, the 15 players each team not the place camper where you want to Sit for over an hour waiting to, to come on cam, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, the, uh, the joints might be a little bit stiff, but 
No, they'll, be, they'll be ready. Those boys sitting on the bench as Tal Malolo winds up again. Jordan Ruppin was just appealing to the bench to get Xavier Savage on. Maybe he wants the hot water in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking for the early shower. Get me off. <laughs> Chad Townsend. Hoist it high. Good take there. Under pressure. Chance to get a quick start. After giving a couple of penalties away in the first half, Jeremiah Nanai. He's done some well. really good things tonight. But then that chase, some of his effort areas, what a player this young fella is. That's a Moko now for Canberra. Here is Adam Elliott. His first carry of the night. Last play for the Raiders. Jack White. <laughs> Now it's with Kyle Felt and White and the kicker leads the chase. It's good play by leader. Very important phase of the game. Last 15 minutes. Be interesting to see how the Raiders actually handle this. They played from the front all night. Now oh, Hess coming from the fields. After about 14 minutes when it was 12 nil to Canberra, you wouldn't have thought that after 65 minutes we'd be at 12 all. But here we are, quarter of an hour remaining. They were all locked up. Another kick from Townsend. Chance to go look start. Oh no. Is he limping then? Well, that might be the sign from Xavier Savage to jump up and get ready. When you see that, what about you think Achilles? He's up and moving now. There he is. Xavier Savage about to come on, but here's Matt Tomoko now with the ball. And he's on. Xavier Savage, the youngster, the speedster. Chance to look stars come from the field. He's Adam Elliott looking to split them. That's a good run. Yeah, nice play. Bit of passing by their forwards. Jack Whiten. It's a kick downfield. You can see it's about to swing again. The Raiders oh, getting a sniff. Savage, good tackle. And another smart kick there as the Cowboys go wide. Another smart kick by Jack Whiten. He's putting the Cowboys deep in the corner, isolating Scott Drinkwater at fullback. You can hear the crowd too starting to get behind the home side. Ilham Lukey. What? <laughs> oh gosh, what a player he is. Bellamy, just a bit of concern for him. Tal Malolo playing it. Here's Townsend from inside the 40. Rappiner takes it. Says, here's Xavier, go for a run. And they're going to put him into touch. There's some inexperience there by Xavier Savage. And I understand Jordan Rappiner was just giving Xavier Savage just a touch to settle him down. In the top grade, you cannot go anywhere near the sideline, especially when you're a lightweight like Xavier Savage. He's on his shoulder here too, Joey. Yeah, he's got the oh. left shoulder there. Oh, that's when they pop out. Look at it. Oh. He's holding that left shoulder. And on nights like tonight, particularly in venues like Canberra, Joey. The sideline is another defender, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, stay away. He'll learn from that. Tamalolo. 30 metres away here, North Queensland. Townsend did and quick hands, drink water. Gets away from Bellamy.
Robson goes to Cotter. Ruben Cotter, 22 away. In North Queensland, hit the front for the first time tonight. Elam Lukey. Wrap him up well there. Two tackles left in this set. 11 minutes left in the game. It's with Talmalolo. Townsend. Drink water. Puts in a kick. Flying through. Jeremiah Nanai. And the Cowboys are in front. He's hurt himself too, Nanai. He's got cramp. One of these players where when things happen, the ball seems to bounce for him. Harvey Norman replay. The ball goes through and have a look at the intensity to get there and puts his body on the line. Great try to the Cowboys. Oh, what a future this young man has got in the game. Jeremiah Nanai, committed to North Queensland for next season. Nanai. Lukey. What about some of these young forwards? They've got the Cowboys. So JT would know more about these young fellas. We might go to him next, next break we have, but... Look at this, look at the intensity to get there. Puts his body on the line. We saw a couple of weeks ago, it was against the Broncos, we got three tries. Yeah, yeah, Sunday just afternoon. one of those, he's just got the ability to put himself in a position to get the ball to score a try. And competes hard for the ball. He's got a really good rat's tail going there too. It's good stuff. <laughs> Valentine Holmes, two from two tonight. Just to make it a six point lead for North Queensland. Struck it magnificently. Six-point lead for North Queensland. Nine minutes left in the game. 18 unanswered points for the Cowboys. JT, there's young back rowers. Lukey and Nanai. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, great young talents, obviously, Joey. Hill and Lukey, I met him a couple of years ago in Cairns. He was coming down to do a pre-season uh, work with the boys and they ended up keeping him on and uh, giving him the contract. So, yeah, the one... Hell of a talent, these two boys, and glad that they're locked up at the Cowboys. How are you feeling, JT? You're okay down there? I can't even, I can't even feel myself think <laughs> it's that cold. <laughs> I can't feel myself think. <laughs> yeah. That says it I think, all. I think that may be a little bit of brain freeze. <laughs> we'll have to leave you there, JT. We're going to turn the heat up where we are. Drink water on the last for North Queensland. So Xavier Savage last year finished the season because he had shoulder problems, yes. yeah. He had surgery on the shoulder. I hope it's all right. The way he landed, that, they're the way they pop out. Aren't they? Tomoko gets away from one. Get away from Gilbert, Cotter and Robson. He's tried hard to he has, isn't he? He's Papali'i. Yeah, they need the one-two punch. Papali'i and then Jack Whiten. They need Jack Whiten on the back of that. Elliot, good tackle. It was him again. Nanai 
Had some help from Telmalolo. And then pressures the kicker. Good take. Scott Drinkwater flying high. Under a fair bit of pressure there as well. Kyle Felt now for North Queensland. Well, the Ampole Women's State of Origin is back and heading to Canberra in 2022. Be here to witness the best women's players from New South Wales and Queensland battle it out in the nation's capital. Head to nrl.com slash tickets to secure your seats. Juniors below 15 years old enter free with a paying adult. Oh, would that be a great game of footy, Soldy? Will be. The women's competition this year just outstanding. As we know, Roosters, eventual premiers, they came from nowhere. Well, they were his Xavier Savage. Well, they were gone going into the last round. Got in did very well, the Roosters. Well done to them. Well, the semi final to lead into the grand final, they were gone. 16 yeah. 0 down. The women's origin will be outstanding. Leading the charge up front for New South Wales. It's the Queensland forwards. Six minutes left here on Thursday night footy. In Canberra, mount a comeback. Well, not like that, they won't. Mistake there from Whitehead. Look out, drink has got it for North Queensland. Peter Hiku. Five and a half minutes remaining. Time running out for Canberra. Haven't scored a point in the second half. And they look for just one point here and put the game to bed. North Queensland. Townsend's out in the back. Robson. Oh, there's a strip. What a play. Corey had her and Ida. Just when North Queensland were working for one point to finish this game off. The one-on-one steal. And Canberra have got it. That's good hands, too, there from Kotrick, who's still going. Oh, Nick Kotrick. What's, what's happening here? Is that <laughs> three or four one-on-one strips for Canberra tonight? Big play, big play by Hadawira and Ida. It looked as though Chad Townsend was actually setting up for the field goal to put the Cowboys out by seven points. And now we find the Raiders there on the front foot. Nice offload from Tal Malolo. Here's Adam Elliott. Snyder. Goes to Whiten. Jack Whiten gets away from Nanai. Still alive. Loops a pass. Elliott spins away from a tackle. Here's the last. What can they produce here, Canberra? Snyder puts in a kick. It's not a bad one. Taken there by Drinkwater for North Queensland. Now they've got to go 95 metres, but it's a penalty. Well, there's an escort, escort. here. Escort. And they're going to they gonna sim bin? Is there a sim bin? Any real time off there. Look, Rapiner here runs him off the ball ever so slightly. And well done to Rapin. He didn't take a dive. Stayed on his feet. Here they go, the Raiders. Tapanay. Three and a half minutes remaining. Canberra with a full set of six. Trailing by six. Elliott with some footwork. He's going to be dumped. That's tackle two. Now, oh, oh they got in each other's way. Tapanay and Papali E. And it's a knock on. And the Cowboys will get the scrum feed. Yeah, we've seen Canberra put this play on many times in previous matches, and it was just a mix up with the pass from dummy half. Tom Starling, I think he was trying to find Papali'i there, but Tarpanay just stuck the hand out behind him, and while well, the ball travels forward, and they have just uh, taken any chance of trying to take this go, game to extra time away Stay from here, the Raiders. Don't afford any errors here in North Queensland. Valentine Holmes. One of the second half try scorers for the Cowboys. Elam Lukey. 
Ruben Cotter now, one out. Two and a half minutes remaining. Robson to dummy half. Tamalolo gets to the 40. Two tackles left in this set for North Queensland. Gilbert will play it on the last. Chad Townsend, plenty of time. Puts a kick downfield. Xavier Savage has it. Tackle just outside the 20. Todd Payton nervously watching on the Cowboys coach. Here's Jordan Rappiner. Gets away from Tom Dearden. Long pass. Kotrick. It's elusive Nick Kotrick. Ricky Stewart. Tomoko now. Halfway through the set. Rappiner. Jack Whiten. Schneider. He's wrapped up. Two tackles left. A minute and 15 seconds left. Papali'i. Thought about the offload. They wrapped up the ball. Here's the last. Whiten. He'll get caught with it. No, gets it to Whiteheads. They've got to keep it alive here. To Moko. And Robson's got it for North Queensland. He copped a boot there from Jordan Rappiner for his troubles, but he got to the loose ball. It's been a brave effort by the Cowboys. They hung on in the first half. Could have been down by 20, 24 points. And came out in the second half and got some momentum and some, some go forward. This guy's been incredible. Tamalolo. It's just... What a play. So Canberra haven't scored since the 14th minute. Yeah. And they're 12 0 after 14 minutes, Canberra. North Queensland are going to hang on. This is the last tackle. Hiku slow to get up and play it. Townsend puts it into touch. The siren sounds. And what a victory that is for North Queensland in the nation's capital. They've defeated the Raiders by six. Full time in Canberra. North Queensland, 18, have defeated the Raiders, 12.